All right, how's it going today? Hey, look, so I thought I'd talk to you, to the family, about, you know, sometimes in life, you really is only good as what you bring to the table. And I don't know, maybe you have to, it's one of the things that some people need to go through, like the person that I'm about to talk about, okay? So you can maybe have that walk, walk alone to where it's really just you. And it's one of the things that you walk through it to be able to galvanize and try to dig out the, the core of faith so you can, I don't know, overcome. And it's either you can try to overcome or not. Well, not try to do it, but do it, okay? But really the ball is in your court. You know, so I kind of feel like this man is like, I'm about to talk about is like Job, like in the Bible, you know, he got stripped of everything that he had, children, land, crops and everything. And then, you know, he was in the, well, he kept faith and he was a God, and, you know, he was a God fearing man, kept the faith and he ended up getting fourfold. So point being is this, I'm here to talk about that fight last night. The Spence and Crawford fight. It's a big deal out here in Las Vegas where I reside. All right, I was looking at some uh, highlights of it. They were talking about it like all week. I was supposed to have some friends that come back, come out here from out east, and they didn't even come. Everybody was there. They had celebrities, you know, uh, other boxers in the craft. Let's see here. Mayweather came through and his dad. They had, uh, who else? Adrian Bronner, they had uh, Deontay, they even Deont uh, interviewed him about that, you know, like, he even got done dirty, I felt, he had two long counts against Tyson Fury, and I felt like that second fight, Fury also loaded his gloves, but, you know, Deontay, you know, he's going to co uh, continue, I think they were talking about he was talking about a fight in January going to try to do against Joshua, I guess him and Ruiz couldn't get a uh, a contract but yeah the fight with Spencer Crawford they both came in undefeated and uh, Crawford is now the undisputed world heavyweight champion I, I understand that he's okay he's got four belts and I understand it's in two different weight classes okay like this is the first person to ever do something like that all right I mean it was a I think it was a really good fight uh, Spence had, you know, admitted, said, look, you know what? I lost straight up. You know, it was one of the things people try to say, I guess he was out for 19 months because he got in that car accident with that Ferrari, okay, or the Lamborghini or whatever, okay? But I think up to this point, what, three years later, then it's really expected you for you to compete, all right? But he got pulverized, though, all right? And what I was saying is a lot of Spencer fans, they turned their back on him. Told him that he need to retire. All right, because he lost one fight, which I just think that it was kind of honorary and I just thought it was unfair. The man lost one fight. I think in today's boxing, as talented as these guys are and as skilled as they are, it's going to be very, very difficult to be undefeated. Okay, in any class, particularly if you're heavyweight. You know, I, I know where that why they're mad because there was millions of dollars that were lost in that fight, okay, with, with Spence. Okay. So the one many of the ones that lost money probably said they didn't want to deal with him him anymore. Okay, just because of one fight. And you know, I was looking at some reviews of other boxers, guy likes uh, Mayweather. I didn't know that Spence been around that long when he spar actually Mayweather sparred with Spence when Mayweather got out of jail for all that domestic violence stuff and said that, you know, he was a really good spar partner. He helped get Mayweather back on track because I guess he had got big when he was in jail, you know, doing push-ups, lifting weights and all that. And Spence actually helped get him right, sparring. And he thought that he was a good, I thought that probably uh, so too, but there was a lot of people that were saying good things about Spence, all right? But it's just 
one of those things. I predicted a tie for the fight or maybe a draw. Okay. But some of y'all that's been around for a while, you OGs, y'all been around long enough to remember any given Sunday. Okay. What can happen could happen. Murphy's Law, you know. I don't know. Maybe Spencer's wife is pregnant or whatever. Okay. Maybe he's worried about what she's worried about. You know, it could be a lot of things, a lot of factors. You know, but it's still a great fight. I just think to even get to that point where you have two undefeated fighters is just a milestone. I mean, I don't remember the last time I see see that. It probably had to be like 30 years uh, ago. Okay, so the mag it made a lot of money, but probably the magnitude of that fight probably is the same as like Tyson and Holyfield. Also, that uh, Fury and and Wilder. Okay, or maybe like back in the 80s for all those great fighters, you know, middleweight fighters and heavyweights and so forth. Okay. So, um, yeah, there's going to be another fight. Uh, I, from what I understand, December, a rematch. Okay. I don't think neither of those guys are going nowhere. Definitely Crawford's not going to go anywhere no time soon. Okay. He's going to defend it until he can't defend it anymore. So there you have it. Crawford is the new undisputed heavyweight champion. But I just thought it's like really heartbreaking for a lot of people to turn their back on Spence like that and just lose faith, you know? I mean, look, it's very, very difficult to have like, a you know, to not run into a crossroad in, a, in a, any professional sport. So let me know what you think about the video, all right? And that's my take on this subject.